Hey guys, it's Kim from Fables Den, back with another video. <laughs> Been really, really unproductive these days. You know, procrastination kicks in and you just end up being very productive at being unproductive. <laughs> okay, so today I want to show you um, the City Lights Tarot, and it's a very interesting deck by this Taiwanese artist. Um, really, really proud because I'm from Taiwan. Yeah! Oh, and it's a really, really interesting deck. It's very urban, it's very James Bondy in some cars, and it's very like, um, it's very Hollywood. Anyway, um, I'll be showing you this deck and I'll just walk through the major arcana, the minor arcana, show you some of my favorite cards and some of the interesting concepts in there and hope you like it. The City Light Tarot is by a Taiwanese artist named Max and as you can see the box slides in and out so it's pretty handy when it comes to storing. It also comes with a guidebook that is 314 pages long and it's fully colored and it's really nicely designed and the paper quality is also really good. Unlike a lot of the other tarot decks, this book is actually a legit tarot book. Like it includes things from, you know, how to take care of your deck, how to um, perform a spread, how do you shuffle, how do you draw, and then there's the definitions of each card, and then how um, you can use these cards in different areas of your life, such as work, career, you know, love, and also finance, that kind of thing. So I like how the sections are divided. Um, but as far as definitions go, it's not really in-depth, so I think it'll be a, a good intro book. Like, it'll be a good book if you're just starting out and you're just learning um, the individual cards because um, next to each card, uh, it's always accompanied by the picture of the actual card and it's in full color. So it's just such a great reference book. Um, well, and having that said, um, you can only read this book if you know how to read Chinese. One of the downside of the stack is that I don't think there's an English version available yet, so you can only read this book if you know how to read Chinese. And yeah, let's get on to the actual deck, which I'm pretty sure you really want to see. Okay, let me start by showing you this absolute monstrosity of a back cover. Um, I was really, really disappointed to be honest that it was just a plain black cover. Uh, it was just a black cover with the artist name or studio or whatever on the back. I, w I was just like, you could have just left it black. It would have been so much better. And that was the epic disappointment of this deck is that the back cover just destroys the 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 whole vibe basically. But let's leave that all behind and let me show you the front side of the Major Arcana. So as I'm walking you through the Major Arcana, you'll probably see what I mean by this deck is really, really, it's got a strong Hollywood vibe to it. I just keep thinking that a lot of the images from this deck um, look like a scene from a romantic comedy or some kind of um, contemporary film. So. In a way, it doesn't really have the mysticism or sort of the distant, um, symbolic feeling that the usual tarot decks carry. This deck is just so close to um, our modern landscape, um, so, to, so to say. And another thing that occurred to me was that this deck is also, it's got a strong tu touristy vibe to it. It just feels like um, a lot of these images look like photographs that you would take on a trip to Paris or England or something. Oh, and the wonderful thing about this deck is I feel like it's much more diverse when it comes to um, the representation of people. You see people of all ages, and you see people of different genders, you see groups of people together, and it's much more closer to the reality we inhabit. However, I will say that I don't think this deck is culturally diverse enough, or at all. Um, given that this is created by an Asian artist, there is no Asian population in there, or just you know any kind of rep representation of other races or other ethnicities. So that's one thing I feel a little bit iffy about. Having that said, this is still a deck that has a lot of, um, I think, many 
different kinds of faces like compared to other tarot decks and especially because this um, deck is so urban you see a lot of um, the contemporary um, character tropes and you can easily recognize them for example Queen of Swords is obviously the independent boss woman and who are just trotting with her heels clicking that kind of thing and then you see a male figure in two pentacles who is an acrobat and he's very focused very balanced and doing his thing oh another thing i forgot to mention is that in this deck each card is accompanied by a keyword so this keyword is actually written on the card so for example for queen of swords it was imagination for two of pentacles is fluctuation so um the author assigns a keyword to every single card in this deck and uh, most of the keywords I agree with and I kind of really like his choices but some of them are kind of like meh I can come up with a better word for myself type of thing okay so the next thing I want to tell you about is the fives in this deck um, when it comes to fives there's usually a sense of conflict instability adversity and trial and one of the reasons why I like this deck so much is because the fives have such a positive framing. I mean, the sense of conflict is definitely there, but there's also a, a prevalent sense of strength that you can feel like the characters on the cards, they're really rising to the challenge as if they're saying, I know this is hard, but I welcome the challenge and this is not going to defeat me. And I just really, really like the interpretation of the fives um, from this author and it's just... Um, it just feels very empowering to look at the fives and be like, okay, it's kind of shitty right now, but I can handle it. Especially when it comes to the five of swords. That's the James Bond card I mentioned earlier, right? Like, it just... James Bond always finds his way out of any sticky situation. So that gives me confidence if I ever get five of swords. So yeah, that's another thing I want to share. Alright, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and also just a quick update I am making tarot worksheets so if you are looking for tarot exercises or tarot journaling stuff or just um, activities to do to help you deepen the bond with your tarot deck or just kind of get to know tarot better whether you're just starting the tarot journey or you're sort of halfway through or there's no halfway through midway through or you're just already on the journey um for, for a bit and you want to further that journey <laughs> just totally abusing the metaphors here yeah you can go check out the worksheets on my blog they're totally free you can download it via uh you can download it from dropbox it's totally awesome yeah i'll be making these um worksheets Hopefully, every week I'll pump something out weekly. Um, but yeah, definitely go check it out. And